These are the questions that I want us to focus on. You know the analysis questions. What do you see? What do you know? What questions do you have about the, the primary source? But today I'm going to delve a little bit further into sourcing today. And that is, I want you to think about what the painter's trying to do. And I want you to think about um, kind of the time frame of when that painting was made. That's going to make a big difference because we're going to explore even um, uh, deeper into the time. I've tried about once a week to pull in a primary source to whatever we're doing. Whether like uh, we were looking at the Constitution this week, you know, pull up nationalarchives.org and have the real deal in front of them. And um, when we did the Boston Massacre, we had an account of a reporter about the 11-year-old that was killed. Um, trying to make a personal connection. Off the top of your head, what are some things that you see? Marissa? They're young people. Young. Kind of reminds me of the adventure group. Mm -hmm. uh, Jaden? Clouds. Clouds. Anything else? Ariana? Sunny. Sunny. Well, we got clouds and we got sunny. Is that? Um, there's water. Definitely water. Something else. Sadie? The American flag. Good. And Luke, last one. Um, soldiers. Good. All right, guys. What are some things that you already know about in this picture? Crossing the Delaware. Okay, we know that just from the title. Good. Emma? It was on Christmas Eve. Good. Okay, we know that from the passage that I read, and also, I think, from our story. George Washington sucks. Mm -hmm. It's winter. Yes. Anything else? Um, James Monroe is behind George Washington holding the flag. Excellent. I'll, get, I'll go further into that. If you were in, if you remember yesterday, we were discussing the Monroe Doctrine. Do you remember that? Yeah. And it was so cool because I had no idea... And I, I knew what we were going to do today, but guess who this is? Monroe. James Monroe. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. I had no idea until we watched that thing on Monroe Doctrine yesterday. Let's go ahead and go, uh, go back to our paper, and this time try to write some good questions. There's so much learning that comes from the developing questions part, because they knew some things from the time period because of, of social studies. And they certainly picked up other things from the story, but uh, they were able to really um, go deeper with the you know with the questions. Um, how about how many people? Are there? Yeah, that's a good one. We're exactly on the river. You remember what they said in the passage? It said what, something about nine miles. Remember? Nine miles. Nine miles upstream um, from Trenton. Uh, uh, Remember? Okay. Luke. Why was Monroe with Washington? Very good. Um, what time is it? Okay, what time is it? Why did they call it Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. Sophia, what question do you have? Um, why were they crossing the Delaware River and not the River? Okay, why the Delaware? A few more minutes. How long did it take to cross through? Good. How long did it take? Especially with, what was it, like 250 some men or something? Four years. Okay. Uh, Sadie. Exactly how many men were there? How many men? Remember? And I'll take two more. Lily? Um, were all the men in the boat with Washington top ranking officers? Very good question. And last one, Marissa. Um, where exactly were they? Now, Marissa and Emma were talking about, well, where exactly were they? And we actually, um, in the passage that I read, they say it's nine miles upstream from Trenton. Okay. Very good.